Joining me today is Donna Baker, and it's an absolute privilege for me to recognize Donna. Uh, out of an audience of more than 50,000 agents nationwide, Donna has been selected to represent Broker Agent Advisor as this month's Broker Agent of the Month for the entire state of California. And Donna, it's just a privilege. Um, I think very highly of you. I respect what you've done. I especially appreciate the way you go about doing it. I want to say congratulations on the recognition, and thank you so much for joining me. Thank you very much, Brian. I'm very honored to be a part of this uh, interview process, and um, I appreciate your asking me and recognizing me. It's it's really a, a I'm very proud to be here. Well, you deserve it. And my hope, Donna, is for anybody that gets a chance to see this video, just to get a sense for who you are and and maybe why you were selected. But I thought we would just explore a few questions together. Okay. I want to start with the topic of real estate. You have done many things. You could be doing many things. Why this business? How did you become a realtor? Well, um, it's actually my second career. Uh, I started my life as a, an administrative professional. So I was a high level executive assistant to um, CEOs and presidents of small and medium sized companies. Uh, most of them were technology driven. And so I learned uh, a lot about technology, which is why I have such a good grasp of it in the real estate side of things. Um, I think my corporate experience was um, able to allow me to segue into real estate much easier than many people who have been in real estate their whole lives. Um, I ended up at a high tech internet incubator here in, locally. And um, I went from uh, working for the COO and having $7 million worth of stock options. Um, and 12 months later, no job. After the market crashed, uh, the NASDAQ crashed in 2000. So I found myself unemployed, um, 50 years old and um, old school kind of an assistant. I took shorthand and, you know, all, did all that old school stuff. And um, nobody was really interested in hiring me because I made a lot of money at, at that point. Um, and so a friend of mine who was a realtor said, you know, how much did you make as an assistant? I told her and she said, you know, you can make a whole lot more money as an agent. And so I talked to my husband about it and he thought, it's a great idea. Why don't you give it a try if you're not good at it or if you don't like it, you can just go back to what you did. So um, luckily I had taken a class in um, junior college on real estate principles. So I was able to um, take a class on uh, eight weeks of how to take the test. Took the test, passed it on the first try. A local broker knew me pretty much uh, around town because of my volunteer and activism here in town. And so he hired me before I even got my license and even had business cards printed for me so that I could start working for him. So, um, and then that, that's the story that, and here I am now 20 years later. And um, ever since year two, I have been either number one or number two in my community uh, top producer. Yeah, so I'm aware of all the success. Um, I, I think it's interesting. A lot of people, I think from the outside looking in, get into this business with similar motivation. Um, there's sort of this, I think this feeling that everybody in real estate makes a ton of money. And, and the reality is now that you've been in this for a while, it, that's not the case. This is a nope. very, very difficult business. In fact, most agents that get their license don't finish their second year. And um, it's incredibly competitive. And, and so... No doubt your professional background has contributed to allowing you to build the systems and processes necessary to do this job well. But, you know, monetary aspirations aside, like what do you find most rewarding about this business? What keeps you in this business and keeps you going? Well, um, I love people and um, people seem to love me back, which is <laughs> awesome. That's good. Uh, I think that um, my personality is um, conducive to working with people who wanna buy and sell homes. Um, I think that I pride myself in my knowledge, my professionalism and my honesty and ethics. And I think that comes across to people. Um, but my favorite thing is putting people in homes that um, they are going to stay in forever and I'm going to be their forever agent, hopefully. Um, <laughs> but it, it's just, I find it very rewarding to help people. And when I, when we walk into a house and I see the husband and wife look at each other or the wife and wife or whoever, and the stars 
pop in their eyes. And I just, I just love that feeling of knowing this is it and let's get it, get you here or working with sellers, which is mostly what I do. Um, I started as a buyer's agent and worked my way into being a listing agent, getting my name out there and branding myself. Um, so I love helping sellers move on to their next home or uh, to re help them relocate to someplace else. So it's just the, the fact that I get to work with people. Yeah, I, uh, I found that to be a recipe or a part of most agents that have been in this business as long as you have. There has to be an element of compassion and a desire to want to help others. I found a testimonial of yours, and I thought it would be appropriate to read how someone that's gone through this process from the client side would describe that. It said, we had an amazing experience working with Donna on the sale of our first home recently, which was a historic property. And in parentheses, Donna specializes in historic homes. And she definitely displayed why she is the top agent in our area. She was extremely knowledgeable in all aspects of real estate from start to finish, including the area, property values, style choices, and negotiation. Everything that was promised to us was delivered and we felt guided, yet never pushed as every step of the way. We couldn't be happier with the final result working with Donna and we thank her so much. That's wow. pretty awesome, right? And you've got a bunch of those and <laughs> yeah. sort of a testament to what you just described as what's important to you and, and congratulations on the kind words. Thank you. I, I do specialize in old vintage homes and historic properties. I was a previous historic preservation commissioner here in Monrovia for 20 years. And so that um, helped me get established when I got into real estate, I made that my niche. I really think having a niche is really a smart thing for an agent starting out. Um, it's kind of hard nowadays versus when I got in 20 years ago, there were a lot fewer agents and a lot more opportunities to get your name in front of people without being bombarded with 20 other agents every day. Um, but um, the historic properties are my, my passion. Yeah, that's awesome. And I agree with you. Some level of specialization is a, a useful way to differentiate yourself, right? It's an incredibly competitive industry. There are tons of agents in every market. And so why should the consumer pick you? Um, exactly. Talk to me a little bit about Monrovia, California. You could do this job anywhere. Um, what makes Monrovia a special, a special place to live, work, and play? Okay, well, my husband and I, um, when we bought our first house, we were ready to buy our first house. Monrovia was one of the few places we could buy an old house, which you know, I've always had this love of old houses, and we wanted a craftsman bungalow. And this was really the only place we could afford to live at the time. Um, this was back in the 80s. And so we moved here, um, not knowing anybody here in town, but um, I'm a joiner and I'm an activist. And so I immediately got involved with the preservation community because I owned an old home. And uh, it just segued from there into um, getting involved in, in the town and getting to know um, the movers and the shakers. So um, I am very strongly committed to giving back to my community. And um, it's a small town, 38,000 people. Uh, it's a bedroom community. Many people don't know it or they have old memories of when it wasn't a great place to live. We moved here just when it was starting to transition into a very desirable location. And most people come here for the old houses and for our old town. We have an old town downtown, oh, um, which is where my office is located. And so um, people like to hang out there on Friday nights and we have tons of restaurants and breweries and pubs, and it's it's really a popular spot. So um, this is where I live. I work and I play. And um, and I when I moved over to the company I'm with now, uh, they they recruited me, and I told them I will only take this um, position if you put me in an old building in Old Town Monrovia. <laughs> so uh, I love it here. Um, we've been here since 1987. Uh, this is, I've only had two houses since I moved here and um, I, I'm kind of a, a what, do they, what do you think, what do you call it? A, I'm stuck here for the rest of my life, <laughs> I think, because I like it so much. Yeah, you found your final resting place, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. I grew up uh, in Covina, which is about 15 miles to the east. And so um, we we hadn't thought about Monrovia and told until we decided to buy something. And like I said, we wanted an old house and we could afford one here. So it's it's paid paid us back well. Yeah, that's awesome. 
um, sounds like there's a strong sense of community in a, you know, in a smaller population like that. There's a sense of togetherness in a, an environment like that, which I, th I wish everybody could experience. Yeah. Um, before I let you go, Donna, I want to put you on the hot seat for a minute. Um, there are a lot of people that could get a lot of that benefit from spending time with you and getting a sense of your experience and what you've learned about this business. If you were to give a single piece of advice to appear in this business, what would that piece of advice be? I'm going to stretch it and make it two pieces of advice. Nobody ever can answer that with one answer. <laughs> <laughs> Not a realtor, that's for sure. <laughs> My first piece of advice is you definitely have to have a thick skin because you're going to get disappointed a lot in this business. Friends and family are not going to use you as, you as their agent and it's going to hurt. So you, ha you have to know how to accept no for an answer and move on. You just, just have to write it up as experience and not let it um, get you down and, and take it personally. The other uh, piece of advice I would give is to get involved in your community. I think that my success it has been uh, doubled by the fact that I uh, support organizations, charities, youth uh, organizations, baseball teams, uh, concerts in the park. Um, I put my money where my mouth is and I take part of every commission I make and spend it here in my town. So um, sponsoring community events and charitable organizations is very near and dear to me. And I attribute my success to that. So I know it's hard to do when you're a new agent, but just volunteer. It doesn't cost you a dime. All it is is your time and energy, and it's well worth the uh, investment. I think that's great advice. I've been saying this a lot lately with all everything going on in the world, but the shortest distance between two people is trust. And so if you'll go find something you're interested in and surround yourself with people of similar interests and demonstrate that you're someone that can be trusted, you've created an opportunity for them to at least consider using you as their agent, right? And so meet people, find people of similar interests, get involved. And uh, I, I think it's fantastic advice. And I think you're a fantastic person, Donna. You're the ideal person for this recognition. Uh, it's an honor to get to know you and to be able to call you a friend at this point. And I want to congratulate you again on the recognition. And I wish you nothing but huge success in the rest of your journey. Thank you very much, Brian. I really appreciate you. You're welcome. Okay.